Welcome, it's good to have you here with us at Somaliland National Television. I'm Mohamed Adam here with the English lesson. Let's take a look at the main stories making headlines. The president was also present for an event designed to launch a water project aimed to provide all residents of Hargeisa an even access of water services. Vice President of Somaliland attends the 10th anniversary of the establishment of National Civil Service Institute. Greeks decide whether to give leftists another chance. <laughs> President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanu supervised the main water supply source for the capital. Located on the suburbs of Hargeisa, where efforts continue to increase running water supply service to the residents of the capital city. On the other hand, the president was also present for an event designed to launch a water project aimed to provide all residents of Hargeisa an even access of water services. Ibrahim Siad Yunis, the chairman of Hargeisa's water agency, spoke at the event and emphasized the significance of providing residents of the capital with adequate and drinkable water service. Minister of Planning and National Development Dr. Saad Ali Shire appreciated the role the European Union has played in the efforts at funding this project, which is expected to be able to reconcile to the hopes of residents of the capital. Minister of Water Resources pledged more increased efforts at providing all citizens across Somaliland with equal, adequate and drinkable water. President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mohamed Silano stated that this project is one of many other projects undertaken throughout the country to better the nation's status regarding social and human regarding social and basic human services. The Somaliland Vice President Abdurrahman Abdullah Ismail Sayli'i attended an event held to mark the establishment of the National Civil Service Institute only before a decade ago. The event has been attended by renowned governmental and non-governmental officials including the chairman of the Civil Servants Agency, Mohamed Mihele Bukhore. The Deputy Director of the Civil Service Institute, Hassan Adhan Gedi, provided the opening remarks at the event, discussing the various stages that progress of the Institute had undergone during its one-decade existence. Within these ten years, hundreds of university-level students graduated from the Institute, most of whom government employees. Haile Mariam Abela, the chairman of the Ethiopian Civil Servants University, which cooperates with the Somaliland Civil Service Institute, focused in his speech issues regarding Ethiopia and Somaliland's cooperation on education, which granted many students in both countries the ac access of quality assured higher education. This relationship does not only pertain to cooperation, but also ex extends lengthily on other areas, including providing scholarships to Somaliland's government employees, which and many other important efforts constructed the foundation for the two countries' joint social and economic progress. Sergio Bushroff, speaking on behalf of UNDP, also provided a keynote speech at the event. He stated that efforts of the institutes are deserving of praise and pledged that UNDP will continue to play a sustained and towering role in the progress of institute's education. UNDP allocates funds to the institute which provides free of charge education to government employees. Ministers of Education Farah Ilmi Gadole and Agriculture Mohamed Dahir collectively reiterated the underlying necessity of improving the quality of higher education which the institute became known to be one of the most prestigious university level institutes in Somaliland. Vice Minister of Social Affairs and Labour, Abdul Wahid Abdelkader Abdurrahman, stressed the role the Civil Service Institute continues to play in the increase of quality of work and qualifications of government employees by strengthening their knowledge and helping them be able to cope with their work. The Chairman of the Civil Servants Agency, Mohamed Mihile Bogore, who previously served as the Chairman of the Institute, stated that as government employees are known keen on increasing their knowledge and extending the qualifications, the institute will be continuing through its ups and will sustain with phenomenal days and years. In the end, the Vice President of Somaliland, Abdurrahman Abdullah Ismail Sayli'i, 
gave his speech at the podium and appreciated the efforts of all those citizens and foreign nationals who played a major role in the establishment of the institute. The Somaliland Vice President Abdurrahman Amtila Ismail Sayli provided honorary certificates to the Civil Service Institute and those dignitaries who were part of the efforts to establish the Civil Service Institute. You are still watching the English news on Somaliland National Television, the first Somali-speaking channel with an English news and now for the main international headlines in detail. The Greeks have begun voting in the fifth general election in six years. Alexis Tsipras, who is seeking re-election a month after resigning as Prime Minister, was out early to cast his ballot. The left-wing Syriza leader has the edge according to the latest polls, but no single party is expected to garner enough support to govern alone. The leader of the conservative New Democracy Party, Vangelis Memarakis, has criticized his rival as incompetent, but stated his commitment to Greece's 86 billion euro bailout. The outcome of this election is seen as crucial beyond financially troubled Greece a country that was almost ejected from the Eurozone earlier this year. Cracks in Europe's handling of the migrant crisis are deepening, with Croatia under fresh fire from its neighbours. In the latest of a series of sharply worded condemnations, Zagreb is being accused of violating Hungary's sovereignty by sending people across the border on a train, accompanied by police. More than 20,000 migrants have flowed into Croatia since Tuesday, after Budapest fenced off its border with Serbia and brought its tough anti-migrant legislation. In recent days, Croatia's government has lied in the face of the Hungarian people, lied in the face of the Croatian people, and lied in the face of the whole European Union, said Peter Zajurto, Hungary's foreign minister. Meanwhile, migrants have been arriving in Austria from Slovenia. One group of up to 2,000 crossed on foot. Slovenia's Prime Minister is among those lashing out Croatia, claiming it is not paying the European rules. We know that we are confronted by a large wave of refugees coming from Croatia. Unfortunately, our neighbor Croatia has not fulfilled its responsibilities. Things have slipped out of control, said Miro Kara. There has been an improper channeling of refugees towards Slovenia. As you know, Slovenia is the guardian of the Schengen border. That's our European responsibility. Around 10,000 migrants reportedly arrived in Austria on Saturday alone. Croatia's Prime Minister says he will not use brute force to keep people out, nor will they have to stay against their will. He has also said that buses and trains will keep running to Hungary. And that's it for this edition of the English News. Thank you for joining us. Catch us at the same time tomorrow. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.